getting things up and loaded. This is my getting stuff ready song. We're gonna be doing some femme hawk makeup. Now we have a, a reference photo. This is what we're doing today. Yay! We've got a little makeup situation going on. Cause you know, when you wanna emulate a video game character, you just wanna pound that foundation into your skin like there's no tomorrow because it's like, look, there's no pores, only pixels. <laughs> Basically when you're doing like, let's reshape my face and do contour and all this fun stuff. You're literally just uh, creating a, like a painting <laughs> scenario on your face. So it's the same deal. So like, fortunately we have a really similar like face shape bone structure. Her nose is a little more narrow than mine is because I got quite a schnoz. Um, and overall her face is like, you know, a little more like cut, like slimmer down than everything. So there's gonna be just a whole world of contour and that it, it is what it is. She's got a lot of like jawline. So we're just gonna go in and just, and you're like, oh God, why are you just drawing a giant brown line on your face? Cause we gotta give ourselves a video game jaw. So we're gonna bring that up a little bit. Cause again, this is gonna be for, you know, this is for funsies. And then we're gonna blend the crap out of that and just pull it down a lot. Kill and dethrone God with eyeliner. Okay, so she has a lot of cheekbone as well. So we're just gonna do the full on thing here. So we're gonna get crazy with this contour. <laughs> okay, and so if I'm looking dead on into the camera, you can see, <laughs> you can see the difference <laughs> in it's all smoke and mirrors. I kind of want to just do like one half. No, 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 no. I'll never get the other side to match if I do it that way. It'll never <laughs> happen and I'll just look uh, sideways and lumpy and it, it will not be a good thing. But yeah, so. <laughs> Dorothy face. Hawk face. <laughs> blend the crap out of everything because you know that's that's like 80 percent of makeup is just blending okay so we've made my face narrower i'm gonna do all this neck action later and now she she does have like a much narrower nose so we're gonna see about that and i'm not gonna lie to you my nose contour is not as great as some of my other skills And you might be like, what the hell? And you'd be right. Okay, blendy brush. We need our blendy brush. I'm trying to like hold the mirror so that I can see it, but also, you know, so that I'm not completely blocking the camera. <laughs> We're learning, we're learning together, friends. So I like to just draw my eyebrows on with like powder, just straight up eyeshadow or brow powder or whatever. Every time I try to get fancy with a pencil, it backfires massively. So hers are like a nice soft round line. Okay, what happened though? Because the eyebrows are great in Dragon Age 2 and eyebrows are trash in Inquisition. So when you're, you know, like reshaping, you just kind of make a line of like, this is where we want the eyebrow to be. Is it where it is necessarily? No. All right. Yeah. She's got like some kind of, she's got a little downward slope going on. So we're going to just do a little bit of this action. Live your dreams. Put your eyebrows where you want them, not where they are. Now I have eyebrow mods. Okay, so we have the basics laid down. Let's take a look at 
So her makeup just looks like she's got like a little bit of some smoky eyeliner and like some brown kind of neutral stuff thrown in there. So we're gonna take that neutral highlighty white kind of color and we're really gonna pack it on just under where we drew in our eyebrows that have no relation to reality and like what my eyebrows actually look like. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is get a little fluffy brush like this guy and go into that darker neutral color. This is the part where I start to feel like um, makeup Bob Ross. <laughs> so, and this is just gonna go all over because I think the game designers did a pretty cool job of like not making it look like she had a bunch of, you know, makeup on while she's like running around uh, saving Kirkwall. But, you know, like just a little, just for funsies. And also you can see like on her, she like, ha she has this shape a lot more than I do. So we're just gonna put a little bit of there and that. But yeah, so we're gonna pull some shadow here. Continuing to, continuing on our journey of like reshaping our face through contour. So I want to, you know, say as far as makeup is concerned that I 100,000% uh, subscribe to the Bob Ross school of thought <laughs> when it comes to like any kind of makeup, painting, anything, like there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Except when it comes to eyeliner that you can make mistakes with. I'm going to pull this darker neutral brown purpley color just right along the eyelash line. We're just going to pack it in. And then we're also gonna bring a little bit drop shadowy down here, but only on the very outside, because you can see that's kind of what's going on with her in those photos. Bring it up just a little bit. And then we blend. Blend. Blend like there's no tomorrow. We're here for a good time, not a long time. So for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use uh, this like black brown instead of a black black for the eyeliner um because like every picture i've seen of her where she's got like actual eyeliner i'm like wait a minute i think that's a mod i we're not gonna get too precious with it kill and dethrone god with your eyeliner pencil might be too brown, but that's okay. We're gonna just smudge it out and it'll be fine. Even has a little smudgy tip on the back. Okay, and now the true test. Can we just get like a nice clean line here without giving into the temptation of making a winged eyeliner? Okay, so now we are gonna go in and we're gonna do our whole waterline, super black just like we're back in high school. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna bump up the, uh, I'm gonna bump up a little bit of the foundation slash highlight situation. Especially on my nose. We're gonna go a little more highlighty right under my eyes give it a little more closer to her shape yeah and on my chin because she's got she has that nice like round hero chin gotta do the hero chin start with a clean slate for lipstick so that we can draw on our mouth in the shape that we want it to be <laughs> as opposed to the shape it actually is okay so we got that mm -mm -mm. so uh, when you're drawing on moles you want two colors you want a brown and a black and this was like a fun little tutorial I got to do after I did my Ben Solo uh, slash Kylo Ren makeup because Adam Driver also has a lot of moles on his face. If you put brown under the black before you draw the moles, 
uh, it looks a lot, a lot more natural. So let me make sure I'm doing this on the right side. Okay, so she's got one like here. And she's got, and don't worry, it's not gonna just be a big brown circle like that. And then she's got one kind of like here. It's a little smaller. Okay. Ugh. And then I dropped my makeup. <laughs> doing, we're doing great. Uh, so once you put your little brown circle down, then you go over it with some foundation. Just kind of, you know, make it look like it's sitting on your skin tone a little bit better there. Hey, look at that. And then you take your black black and you make a smaller black circle and don't make it and you don't even want to make it a perfect circle either um, because most moles aren't uh, the key to doing kind of like organic looking makeup anytime you're doing injury simulation or creature design or anything like that is to leave behind the idea that everything should be like symmetrical and perfect circles and stuff like that because it's just not a thing that happens in nature very often okay and then a little bit of foundation over top boom so you can compare this one to this one right on the hero chin hero chin how will they know you're a hero if you don't have a hero chin? Um, and then while the setting spray is still kind of drying is when I like to go in and do my mascara. I don't put the mascara on before the setting spray because if you do, you could wind up just like smearing it all over the place. Uh, not that I've done that. Okay, and also, how will you save Kirkwall if you don't have fabulous eyelashes? A little bit lighter would be good. And that's like, you know, again, Bob Ross, like just color over it until it looks the way you want. <laughs> Use, use a sponge as an eraser. Fuck it, it's just makeup. <laughs> anyway, the bristles are practically like straw. It looks really crappy. And that's ideal. That is what we actually want from this. So in addition to that, I'm also going to just like mess up the bristles as much as I can. Just make it look really gnarly. Um, you can also just take like whatever and you can take your little scissors and cut into it it's a little bit of red and a little bit of black and a little bit of yellow to give it that like kind of dry blood ish color yeah there we go um so you're gonna want to like test it on your arm first or somewhere you know and you see how it makes it kind of streaky because i like effed up the brush so that's what we want. Here goes nothing. And again, we're trying to kind of keep that streaky look which is why i'm using like the world's crappiest brush if you ever are like man this brush is terrible and it's useless it's not useless it's just has you know a different a different path laid out for it all right and it goes kind of straight across and then there's like a little poop that like goes down so we're gonna go with that Boom! 
boom. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the rest of the makeup looks like. We got the blood smear, we're good. Everyone will know who I am. Yeah, so we're gonna bring that kind of across. There we go. And we wanna give it, yeah, I think it just needs like a hot little, right like that. And a couple, I wanna give it just like some little, little baby lines kind of coming off of it on the, little outside there we go that's it and as soon as you get it to a point where you're like yeah that looks like what it's supposed to stop don't keep going <laughs> when you're face painting uh, because it's really easy to like get carried away <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you're like oh fuck how did all this happen but I'm gonna see if I can get like a close-up of the nose part, because it's my favorite part. I think it looks really cool. 